Today's project is a baby gift set and because the baby is a boy I decided to use a nautical pattern paper pad. I'm going to use lacy pen and die to make a banner base. I will both die cut and emboss it. For the next layer I am tracing the triangle on the inside and then I'll be cutting it out. Please notice that the list of supplies for this project is available on my blog. Just click on the link in the description bar or on the screen right now. I've also die cut plane and scalloped circles using the same pattern paper pad. And I'm going over the edges with the stormy sky and vintage photo distress inks. For the lettering I'll be using this alphabet stencil. I'm masking the areas around the letter with the painter's tape. Now I'm mixing chipped sapphire distress ink and uh, some white texture paste to get a nice shade of blue. I'm cleaning the stencil with a baby wipe and uh, then I'll repeat this process for all the other letters. To add shading to the stenciled letters I'm using the Craft Nib holder, it's one of my favorite tools, and Stormy Sky Distress Ink. To create embellishments I am attaching tiny bells to the chain with the rings. To assemble the banner I am adhering a panel to the base with a glue stick. Then I'm positioning the bells and attaching them with the hot glue. After that I'm using the foam squares to adhere the scalloped and plain circles. I'll be using a thick twine to represent a rope. First I'm making a loop to hang the banners and uh, then a simple knot. To attach banners to the rope I'm using the hot glue. At the end I'm making another loop of the same size. I will show you the finished projects at the end of this video and now I'm making a pillow box with a pillow box punch board following the instructions for this product. Then I'm assembling the box. To decorate my treat box I'm um, making a strip using a pep paper trimmer and a scoring board. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to create some torn edges. Then I'm using Jordana collage die for the dot pattern. And we can now attach the strip to the box. I used uh, this background die and uh, pattern paper to make this mesh piece. This pair of matching leaf dies is also one of my favorites and I'm going to make some leaves with uh, white outlines and vellum backgrounds. Then I'm just going to attach all the elements with the hot glue. First I'm scrunching the mesh and adhering it to the box. Then I'm going to arrange the twine in loops. Next come the leaves. And finally the three navy blue roses. As a finishing touch I am applying some white acrylic paint onto the rose petals. For the card I have made a base out of pattern paper. It is standard size, 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches. The tag is from the same collection. I'm just going to cut it out and then distress the edges. I'm punching a hole and detaching a string to the tag. And then I'm mounting it on the inside of the card. I have die cut a frame with the two dies from Pinpoint Rectangle Layers by Memory Box. And, um, I am adhering the frame to the card front with the foam squares. Now I am going to apply Stormy Sky Distress ink all over the edges as well as on the inside of the frame. To embellish my card I'll be using the same materials I did for the pillow box. First comes the rope. Then some leftovers of the mesh. Then the leaves. And the three blue roses on top. The sentiment die is from the new Poppy Stamps collection. I am attaching the sentiment with the liquid glue. The card is now finished. Pattern paper made it look pretty both on the outside and inside. This is the treat box. And uh, this is the banner with baby's name. Here are some close-ups of the finished project. 
I'd like to thank everyone for watching and for all your nice comments. They really warm my heart and give me a lot of encouragement and inspiration. Here are some more videos that you might like, as well as the list of supplies for today's project. Have a beautiful day and I hope to see you really soon!